The largest wind turbine in the world has just been put together, built, and they discovered that it can actually power a staggering number of homes. Just one wind turbine powers more than 100,000 houses. These numbers are staggering. And it shows you that even cities with millions of people could easily run on renewable energy with only a small number of wind turbines backed up by batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I want to say a big thank you to um, our Patreon supporters and YouTube members for supporting the channel. If you'd like to join us as a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below. A record-breaking 15 megawatt Chinese wind turbine generates power for 160,000 homes. So wind turbines keep on getting bigger and bigger. Now I've reported on them, I've done numerous videos, new world record, biggest wind turbine, then that gets broken, a brand new wind tur turbine comes out, it has even more power, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The world's largest onshore wind turbine from Chinese equipment manufacturer, Saini, has achieved operation at its rated power of 15 megawatts. The turbine was installed in China last month and achieved this feat within the last few days. Countries obviously are going, they're basically shutting down a lot of their coal power plants and even gas power plants as well because renewables are so much cheaper. This is a huge advantage for countries with large coastlines as well because those with large areas of uninhabited land can use enormous wind turbines like this um, and have really the ability to be generating power all day. Wind turbines like this almost always actually spin even under light, light winds because of the enormous size of the blades. According to a social media post, the SL270150 is Saini's largest onshore wind turbine. It has a rotor diameter of 885 feet. That's 270 meters. That's, yeah, I mean, that's way bigger than a football field. The blades actually stretch out 131 meters each. So obviously, if you double the length of those blades, you end up with that number of around 270 meters. In a single turn, the turbine sweeps an area of 616,000 square feet. That's 57,256 square meters, which is about the size of a football field. Engineered to work at medium to high speeds, each unit of the SL270150 can generate 56 million kilowatt hours of energy annually, which is enough to power 160,000 homes. So with just 10 of these wind turbines, you could power a city of 1.6 million people. A hundred of these wind turbines, you're looking at a city of 16 million people. Now they feature a lightweight design that minimize the overall load while facilitating long distance land transportation given the enormous size of the blades. The drivetrain has a dual tapered roller bearing main support shaft system that aims to provide high load bearing capacity and higher stability, allowing it to work under varying operational conditions. So what's gonna happen in the future? Are wind turbines going to get bigger and bigger and bigger? Well, there obviously has to be some sort of limit. Things can only be shipped I mean, they've got to be moved by trucks and ships. And at some point, wind turbines will stop getting bigger, but then they might just be modular where you can simply kind of build the actual blades on site. And that would enable uh, people to kind of build them like Lego, meaning, yeah, the turbines could get bigger and bigger and bigger. And in fact, in 10 to 20 years, they might be double this size. Imagine that. That would mean that one of these wind turbines could generate power for 280,000 homes. And it's a lot easier simply to ship a wind turbine. And even though it's a bit of a hassle, it's a lot easier to ship one of these and build it on site than build a nuclear power plant, for example, much faster as well. Over the next year, the turbine, this turbine in particular, will undergo rigorous operational testing at the site. This includes nearly 2000 performance tests to verify the reliability of the components and the overall design in real world conditions. Once that's finished, countries and companies will be able to purchase these wind turbines and install them. 
So how long do these wind turbines last? Well, they're guaranteed to last for 30 years operation where boundaries of physical limits and technology will be pushed, meaning, yeah, 30 years, even with very, very high winds. So that's a long time, right? By the time that 30 years is up, imagine a replacement would be much, 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 much better, more efficient, and possibly even also much bigger. Mm -hmm.